Hello, so today in this video, I will discuss about the session state in PHP. This is the, again one of the very important factor in PHP, not in PHP, in the web applications. With the help of this value only, you can manage the multiple requests together in the server by the different type of the users. Suppose that in your server, at the same time, more than one users are there, definitely. So every user different different requests and responses are there. So that request and that responses you can manage with the help of this session only. So for the web application. So here in the PHP we are discussing the based upon the PHP but kind concept is the same. So all modern web development environments provide the some type of the session state mechanisms I told. Almost all web applications this concept is there. So session state is a server based state mechanisms if you are defining the session state so you can say it session state is a server based state mechanisms that lets web application store and retrieve objects of any type for each unique user sessions and session state is ideal for storing more complex objects or data structures that are associated with a user sessions. So in PHP, session state is available to the via the dollar underscore sessions variables. How do you manage in the PHP? Dollar underscore sessions variables. But before that one, we have to must use session underscore start in the small letter and the parenthesis bracket open and close to enable the session. So this line should be the, always the beginning of the page and then only with the help of the dollar underscore sessions variables you can manage again all of the sessions whenever you require for the any request for any users you see here this diagram is giving the again the one pictorial view for you so here again the user session u3 users are there xyz so all users different sessions are there user session uh, usf x uh, the user x session x user y different session user z again the different session so all of these sessions suppose that for your shopping cart again the applications all of the sessions are there so all of this session value again available in the web application web server only ki this user this session this user this session this user this sessions and there again you can manage the serialize the file otherwise cookie information otherwise whatever the work if you want to do that all of these things you can do with the help of the to use a session in a script you must call the session underscore start function at the beginning of the page you see here example only after the php tag we have to write session underscore start and then open parenthesis and close parenthesis packet that line should be there in the every beginning every page in the beginning itself only you cannot rewrite this line at the end other by middle of the page no once the page is loading first we have to write the session underscore start that should be inside the php only so in this example we are just checking a particular user is already logging they did or not so how to check this one each set if is set dollar underscore session and then user user means whenever you are giving in the user name in the where in the login page so that user value suppose that if you are storing in the session then we are checking here this session is there or not else we can display no one is logging that particular user is not there as a guest somebody is trying to log in this all this is again the one kind of the example i am telling so session state is typically used for the storing the information that needs to be preserved across the multiple requests by the same user means here uh, suppose that one guy wants to open their profile page same time another guy want to open their profile page your application so what happened after the login we have to store the user value of that user account same way another users again we have to store the username and whenever they are opening that profile then we have to pass that username from the profile table otherwise file then you can press the information for the one user their profile another user another profile 
okay so in that way we can say storing the information that needs to be preserved across the multiple requests by the same users since session information does time out every session they have is time out so one should always check if an item retrieved from the session state still exists before using the retrieve the objects you cannot keep the session value for the n number of times no you can see in the payment gateway also whenever you are starting the payment online payment always one session value is there and every session value that timer is there so within that timing only we have to complete the task thereby your session will expire so here if the session object does not yet exist then you may generate error and reduce to another page you say your session is terminated your time is out whatever that you want to do clear so if you want to talk how the session is working you have to keep the one point in your mind sessions in the php are the identified with a unique 32 byte session id session id is the only the 32 byte session id and the server need to be able to identify a given http request within a specific user request okay and this is transmitted back and forth between the user and server via a session cookie only so here you see user session x host uh, domain is the sometimes dot uh, some site dot com and cookie value is again the session id 32 byte session id is there so shopping card again you are opening the shopping card uh, selecting the one product same time another share another uh, uh, users y again opening the session card there again the session id will be different another again the user is keeping the say, value inside the shopping card page or again the, their session id will be different so in this way shopping card page is the one only but keeping the value keeping the value based upon the session id so for a brand new session php assign initially empty directory uh, dictionary style collection that can be used to hold any state variable for the sessions and when the request processing is finished the session state is saved to save save to some time of stage storage mechanisms that called a session state provider okay and when a new request is received for an already existing session the sessions directory collections is filled with the previous saved session data from the session state provider only and it is possible to configure many aspects of the sessions including where the sessions files are saved so decision to save sessions to files rather than in memory address the issue of memory uses that can occur on shared host as well as persistence between restarts so in exp in expensive web host may sometimes stop hundreds or even thousands of sites on each message server memory may be storing not only the session information but pages being again the whenever whatever the pages you are running and caching the information that also might be the keeping the information so we can see again the apache php threads again they are keeping for the site a again all the session value site b again all session value site c again all of the session value so all site different different whatever the session value is there that is the managed by the apache php threads threads only only okay that is called the one kind of the server memory only so high volume of application generally run in the environment which multiple web server are servicing the request so in that situation in process session state whenever the multiple like in the web servers are servicing the request then in that situation the in process session state will not work since one server may service one request for a particular session so one server may service one request for a particular session and then a completely different server may service the next request for that session so you see here request user is again the same user x so they have a two request request one and request two so request one is again going to the another server request two is going to the another server and in the web form again we keep you uh, the, in the not web form it is called again the server uh, memory only you can manage all of the again the this system so there are the two category of the solutions in such kind of the problem configure the load balancing to a session aware and relate all requests using a session on to the server and use a shared location to the store sessions either in a database memory i mean the memory cache or some other shared state uh, mechanisms one 
okay so you can see here again using the load balance if you want multiple requests are coming and you can share session server you can keep all of the message all of the sessions and with the help of this one only you can manage the together so you must have the php compiled with the memcache enabled whenever you are using the sessions if not you may need to install the modules once installed then you must change the php.ini on all server to utilize the shared locations okay like this one this is the again example for the php.ini so in this one you got the little idea about the sessions next video again i will just uh, write one program how to store session value with the help of the session how you can use the logout also some kind of the similar kind of the coding again i will do i will just show the one demo for you so thanks for your patience